Hi guys, today I'm just going to be going over plastering and I'm just going to go over doing a back slab. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to simulate that there is some kind of fracture here. So first of all, what we need to do is that we need to actually measure up the plaster and I'm going to try to do this in a very quick succession here. Okay, so we're going to measure up the plaster. Uh, so what we do is that we actually take a marking from the crease of the hand and I actually like to come in about an inch from the elbow. So I'm just going to measure that up and I'm going to fold it for just the purpose of this video. I'm just going to fold it say about say five times, but ideally I'd like it over eight on a young strapping young man like this. All right. So I'm going to get my um, plaster ready and I don't know how many times I've plastered this. Um, I'm just going to get my plaster ready and I'm going to kind of just vibe with his limb. Can you just sort of hold your broken wrist out there please sir? And I'm just going to cut a little divot where his thumb should be. And I'll just have that ready. And plaster of Paris is actually quite forgiving. Okay, so in the meantime, I want to, underneath the plaster, ideally I'm going to measure. So I'll go actually roughly uh, halfway with bicep is, and then I'll just cut here. And then I'll just put a little bit of a, a bit of a Michael Jackson hole there. All right, so I'll just get you to slip this in. Thank you. Okay, if the patient is in heaps of pain, you're going to have to do this much slower, all right? But not everybody is going to be doing this filming filming a YouTube video. Okay, so I like to get some of this sort of cottony kind of bandage as like a double barrier in between the plaster. So I'll just have that going around there. So, okay, if this is a busted wrist, then I'm going to actually concentrate on immobilization of this particular area here. Right, I don't want him doing this. So I'll probably add a little bit more plaster where that is. All right, so we're good to go. Um, warm water, um, I like to actually hold my plaster like this and submerse it in the water and then take off the excess like this. And then um, just put the plaster down. I don't mind it being overly wet too. Like we're gonna do like a Patrick Swayze Demi, more ghost type of thing. Though. But I don't mind it being a little bit wet because um, um, it sort of moulds in with the rest of the material that's going on. Okay, and then it's really just bandaging, all right? So, starting from the hand. Look, I do like to bandage these a little bit firm. When you do get a fracture, your patient's kind of, they're in a bit of pain, but I do like them to feel a bit of compression. Of course, ideally, I would have done some circobs pre-plastering, and I'm certainly going to do some circulation observations post plastery. That'll do. Okay, I'll tape that down. Do we have any tape? No, I'll just tuck it in for now. All right. That's okay. It's not bad. It's fine. All right. Okay, so circulation observations. Okay, it's nice and brisk. So after our plastering, um, I just wanted to sort of go over how to put one of these slings on in it. And I mean, I think the principles apply also with a triangular bandage. The idea is that we want the arm to be up here. Now you just, you may have noticed something, I did something a little bit sneaky. What a lot of people do when they put slings on is that they go over like this. Not a fan, all right, because a lot of the weight is actually on the neck and it's just not cool. And if you've been somebody that has actually had to have a sling before, you'll know how uncomfortable that is. So what I'm doing, and I actually get a shot of the back later, of the okay. back later, right? But what I like to sort of do is I like to sort of do it like this, all right? So see how this is going under the arm, right? And the weight is now distributed across here, and it's actually a lot more comfortable. So I'll just give you to drop your arm, okay? That Velcro is holding. It's actually quite good if you don't have Velcro. Some of the products will have safety pins, or you can even use some tape. Okay, so. Think about that, yeah? Thanks.